Oh, hi. Yeah, I don't want mine, I don't want mine videoed for personal reasons. What are you here for? Oh, just myself. Okay, we can leave. GT's going hot at the Gordon County Government Plaza here in the wonderful city of Calhoun, Georgia. How are you? Oh, I'm good. 324, we are good to go. Okay, right here? Thank you. Court front desk. Oh, no, ma'am. Okay. I was taking some pictures. For? Oh, just for me. For you. Yeah. <laughs> Can I help you? Oh, no, ma'am. Did you have services here that you needed us to help you with? Oh, no, ma'am. I'm, I'm good. I appreciate it. Thank you. Excuse me, sir. Okay, done it downstairs. So here he is. Why are you meeting up with us? Ma'am? Why are you offering video and taking pictures of everybody? I just want to take pictures in the public areas of, of our public building. I don't want to get my picture made. Uh, are you a public well, employee? We have, no, we have sensitive information you in some of our offices that can't be. Oh yeah, I don't go into restricted areas. It, it, it's cool. I'm just keeping it real. I can take pictures and video of public areas. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Am I not allowed to? Oh hi. Yeah, I don't want my I don't want my video for personal reasons. Oh, but we're in public, ma'am. There's no reasonable expectation of privacy while in public. <laughs> yes, there is. No, there's not. The U.S. Supreme Court has ruled that, ma'am. We're allowed to take pictures and film in public areas. What's what's her problem? Ma'am? I'm... I'm... I mean, yeah, in the public areas. I uh, just for myself. I don't understand what's going on. No, I think she's upset that you're doing that. Oh. Is it against the law? Hmm. Can I help you? No, sir. No, I'm good. Are you here for any reason? Yeah. What are you here for? Oh, just myself. Okay, we can leave. What are you here for? Oh, just myself. Okay, we can leave. I have to leave. A, I have to leave the office. Yes, sir. You have to leave the office. Why, why are you here? I'm just. I'm a journalist, getting content for my story. Okay, well, unless you're up here for court, you you just need to step back out of my out of, out of our office. Okay, I was just standing in the public areas. Okay, Is this well, private? You can do that, but don't go past it. But don't go in anybody's no, office. You no, I didn't. Okay. 
Well, they said you did. So no, I didn't. It's all on here, sir. But that's going. Yeah. Pro, that's going to probate. You don't need to be in their office. It's no, no, I wasn't in there. And you can come in here, okay? Okay. And if you want to go down there, you can. Okay. This area, if you want to study, if you want to go downstairs, that's okay. fine. Okay, but do not go down the hallways. Okay. Uh, do I have to, Do I have to leave? No, you don't have to leave. Oh, I thought y'all said I had to leave. What's your name and badge number, sir? Oh, can I get his name and badge number? Please? Sure. Absolutely. Your name and badge number, sir? Walter 508. And your name, sir? Pat Raspberry. And your position here, I'm sir? I'm Chief Magistrate Judge. Chief Magistrate. Okay, thank y'all, sir. I appreciate it. I'm the, basically the assistant. And what, and what was her name again? Administrator. Um, so this is our tax commission office. No, no, that, that lady, in, that lady. what's her name? This is our tax commission office. No, no, I need her name. I want to file a complaint. Well, before we file complaints, a lot of times people don't know what they don't know. So let's just explain to them that you have the right to come meet. Oh, no, but I tried to, and she just well, said, no, I I'm don't. Here. I'm here to help explain that. Okay. I'm, if she works down here, why was she upstairs throwing a fit? Guys, uh, this is a gentleman that's a First Amendment auditor. And he's welcome to walk into any of our public locations and film. You do not have to speak to him unless he has county business. But he does have the right to walk through and film. Thank you all for understanding that. Hey guys, I, I did not get your name. Oh, I'm, my name's Russ. Russ? Yes, sir. Is a First Amendment auditor, and uh, he uh, goes around and films government buildings and locations. Yeah. yeah. Did I say I was a First Amendment auditor? Well, that's kind of what you're doing, based on YouTube. Yeah. Uh, and uh, so he's just filming government buildings, government that's open to the public. Yeah. You don't necessarily have to speak to him unless he's wanting to conduct county business. Right. So, yeah, we didn't know if we needed anything. I'm Donna. Oh, so this is our no, that wasn't her. I think you said her name yeah, was Donna. If you need anything, no. this is a uh, tags and property, property taxes. Tags. We can help you. Oh, no, I'm good. Okay, then. Have a good day, guys. Thank you, ma'am. Can you tell me what her name was? I'm going to be very honest with you. I don't feel comfortable giving you that name. Now, you're more than welcome to file an open records request uh, with our county clerk. Uh, why would I need to it that way. But why would I need to file it when you can just tell me because right I now? Because I don't know the instant, incident that happened. Uh, oh, well, she's a public em So I verified she's a public employee, and I would like that public employee's name because our tax dollars fund her salary. Yes. Come on, let me give you the rest of the talk today. You're and probably I in court right now. See there. I'm allowed to film. He's with me. Uh, See, he said I couldn't go. This is our problem. Well, he said I couldn't go down the hallway. Yeah, the, so this is a makeshift office. Can I come down this, this hallway? Uh, no, the, that's why the signs are up. And so oh, but I can come down the hallway. You've got to ring this bell for service and they'll come see you. These are private offices, so it's uh, these are a makeshift office space. This right here is public space right here. I can introduce you to these guys real quick. Oh, I want to know who had said to the police or whoever I was going in these offices because they obviously lied. And then my video sure. shows otherwise. Well, I'm not sure. I wasn't here. Well, I just had an interaction with y'all's chief magistrate judge. And he said he was told that I'm going inside these offices. So that means somebody lied. I said, but don't go in anybody's no, office. Didn't. No, I didn't. Okay. Well, they said you did. So. No, I didn't. It's okay. all on here, sir. Well, I'm not sure. Because I am just now came over. So this is our probate court. This is Jacqueline, our receptionist. Melody does a lot of the firearm licensing. If you would like to meet the probate judge, I can bring him up front here. Oh, can I ask you a question? Yeah. Um, you told me their names. Why won't you tell me that other employee's Because I name? don't know the incident. I told you that earlier. Oh. So I don't want to weigh in on a, uh, an issue. So that's the courtroom down there? That is a hearing room. It's not a courtroom. Okay, so I'm going room. down there. And then these are private judges' offices, too. Like I said, I can bring somebody up if you'd like to speak with them. Oh, uh, y'all still do weapons carry licenses? That's Miss Melody right here. Y'all still process those? Yeah. Weapons carry? Yeah. But in Georgia, a constitutional carry state now, so we don't have to have them? Uh, but you still can have a license if you like to have option. one. Oh, yeah. then why are we wasting money? 
That would be a state question, not a county question. Yeah, we're wasting money on that by that would be a state of Georgia employing pay, yeah, paying for that stuff since we're a constitutional carry state. state of now. Georgia question. We're a constitution carry now, so. Judge, uh, this is Judge Richie Parker. This is Russ. He is a uh, First hey, Amendment Russ. auditor um, on public areas. He's able to walk around. I explained to him with this sign here that that over back here is private office space. Uh, but uh, just wanted you to meet him. And oh, you're a judge? He is a judge, probate judge, That's, Richie Parker. Oh, okay. You didn't say anything to me when I was down the hallway, but the other one flipped out. Other what? The other judge, the chief magistrate judge. Yeah. I don't flip out over a whole lot. Yeah. Yeah. I know. Judge Parker. We're just in a public area. Yeah. We're just in a public area. We're just in a public area. I want to know who lied and told him, him and the <coughs> constable, that I was in and out of these offices, which is a complete Again, false. Can I give you a full tour of everything? I'm not really sure. I'm probably going to. I just, I want to, I want to know that lady's well, name. Courthouse. I want to know that lady's name. The reason why I'm cautious on that is because I don't know the full incident. Like I said, you're welcome to. Um, we can walk over to our county clerk and you can file an open records request, which is perfectly legal. And uh, then we can produce it that way if you like. Because without, um, you know, I know I, I know that you know a lot of the legal stuff. Oh, but I don't. I would want also our attorney just to weigh in on that. So. Wait, hold on. So you have a county clerk that processes open records? Yes. But you got to send it to a county attorney no, and pay I would him. Ask the county attorney. I don't have to send that to the county attorney. I would so, want to ask. So you got to pay him to ask him that. No, we, when it's just a name. He's a county attorney. But I he's employed with. He's mm -hmm. on staff. Yes. Oh. Okay. He's also our county administrator. He's both in. Okay. So we get uh, twice the amount of work out of one person. Okay. This again. This is our tax assessor's office. Okay. So I come in here with everything. Do you have anything uh, that should not be on film? That we did send out memos about first of Oops, sorry. Mm -hmm. You're going to step back. Oh, no, I'm good. I'm good. I also oh, have, I'm uh, told him that we sorry. have sent out memos to our department heads about first amendment auditors and that they can come into our open public spaces to film, but we don't have to communicate unless they are here for government business. Uh, but maybe that memo did not get passed down to our employees. Um, and so that's kind of where we're at. Okay. So. Oh, and I, I never said I was a First Amendment auditor. Well, that's what you're doing Remember. by practice. Yeah, what I mean, doing. I check up on our government. Yeah, and I respect and that. The, I respect that. And for the most part, what I've seen in the building, yeah. I'm not going gonna, I'm, I'm I'm to gonna shoot you straight. Most of everybody was working. I didn't really see anybody on their phones or nothing. Yeah. Everybody's helping except this lady I mean, here. You just surprised her. And you just surprised her. But she lied to me. Why would a public employee well, lie not, to a citizen? Well, you asked her if she was an employee. She was not an employee from up there. No, but I said, was yeah. she a public employee? And she said no. So, so I said I public you, employee. I think you just surprised her. You know? Yeah. I think and so, uh, so, like I said, I, I'll be... I would love for you to walk with me to uh, the next office. and we can I'll submit that, that via email. I'm just very, very discouraged that... And you're the tax commissioner, Gordon Scott, Mr. Scott Clements, that either you or you, y'all two, couldn't give me her name. And it's going to force me to go through the entire Georgia Open Records Act process to just to get a name of your employee. That's where I'm very disgruntled at. I mean, had you had I gotten her name, I probably would have been out of here already. I've got... I, I'm meeting somebody later, so I, I haven't been out of here. Well, I, I just don't like because I, I, I don't respect like what you're doing. I didn't and, like the way she acted, and then she lied to me. So it's like, okay, does she lie to the other citizens? You know, I mean, I think you surprised just her. a basic. She doesn't understand what you're doing. Her. And if she saw right. that memo live. I doubt very seriously she did. And so I think you surprised her. I don't think she understands. Put yourself doing. in her position. And um, we'll be glad to make sure all of our staff knows what's going on, and make sure you know we educate okay. up. Um, but you know the big thing is on that particular incident because it does have to do with an employee. We have standards that we also have to go by, and the open records request is one of the ways that a citizen has a um, a direct way to get information from their government. And so. Love for you to utilize that. Right, let's do that. Oh, it's her right here, and then she's. Yep. See this, this lady, ma'am. What is your name? 
Let me explain what who you are. Who are you talking to? She's ducked down. <laughs> oh. <laughs> My Ma'am, what is your name, please? Why is she doing this? Well, again. Okay, we just had an interaction. Again, I want her name. They, they don't know what's going on. I need to explain to them what's going on. Okay? And so, uh, what I would like for you to do is just give me five minutes to make one phone call. Can we have that between us? Well, you've given me everybody else's name we've had interactions with, and I just Can had an interaction me five with her. Five minutes for a phone call. That's all I'm asking. I don't understand. Okay, I'll be right back. Be right back. Oh, can you tell me her name, ma'am? I don't think she doesn't want to give it to you herself. Oh, but she's a public employee, though. I had a, I had a very negative interaction with her upstairs, and I'm trying to find out what her name is, and I don't understand why this is so hard to get an employee's name that uh, we, the people, pay for in our tax money. It doesn't matter, ma'am. Sir? It doesn't matter, ma'am. Well, then uh, you're not paying your salary. Yes, we are, ma'am. Everybody pays your salary. So you, we you the. Gordon County, you do. It, no, ma'am. Y'all get federal funding. Y'all get state funding. I'm fine with that. Thank you. That's the only way that I'm able to do this right now. Okay, well, then you probably need to start taking all these name tags down then and make everybody. Um, why am I being singled out? Well, you're not. Again, there was an incident that happened that I'm not fully apprised of. So, um, we just had an incident right here. I understand. Just like we had everywhere else. And so I'm going to hold to that stance. And again, for all your viewers, and I know you may edit this out, <laughs> I respect what you're doing, but we also have a process as well. There's a lot of stuff I don't edit out. I, I leave pretty much most of the video intact except, except fluff when... I have to stand around for 45 minutes waiting for police to show I up. You had to be somewhere. I do. Actually, I do, but I really need I need her name I, cause, and I'm because I'm going to file. Well, I'm going to file open records, so then I got to file an open records to get her name. Then I got to file another open records into her name for her, her entire personnel information. I'm giving you that. I'm telling you the avenue that you have, and I'm you know trying to assist you to the best of my ability. Well, she's horrible. She should be. She she shouldn't be here. She shouldn't be working for the public. Well, no one knows what the other side of the coin is. Either. There could be a lot of personal. Oh, you on just the other side. you just saw the video in the office. Well, I'm talking about you don't know what's going on with her. She might have. You know, who knows? Uh, so let's I mean, give if her she's a not, of a doubt. If she's got personal problems, she should have stayed. You know, called out sick, used a sick day because this door right here, this door, the feelings get checked at this door. The feelings do, and then you, I, and then you, you, you're you a representative the for the people. Ability, brother. Is there any other buildings that I could walk you to? No, or sir. Show you anything else about nah. the county government? Oh no, no, I'm do you good. Live in Gordon County? Uh, no, I don't. Oh yeah, you live locally, Floyd County, the, County. Oh yeah, the the older lady down there. Actually, I need to get her name. I had an inter yeah, I had an interaction She's with her. No, no, right here, Mar Miss Martha. Miss Martha White. She said I have to live here to, to, because we the people pay your salary. She says I don't pay her salary because I don't live here. Again, well, I'm that's completely to be wrong. Right aware of what you're doing, and we will. Thank you, Miss Martha. We will make sure that people are more aware of what you're doing. Y'all have a good rest of y'all's day. All right, GT is finishing up here at the Gordon County Tax Commissioner's office where we had an interaction with a public employee that lied to us uh, as well as uh, is uneducated on the laws and we could not get her name. We have to file an open records request for it, which makes no sense whatsoever. Even showed her boss the video and everything and of how she acted and then it doesn't look like uh, they want to even do anything about it whatsoever. And then runs and hides and wouldn't say anything. And uh, so, yeah, uh, this is the Gordon County Tax Commissioner's office. And I would leave it up to you to decide how Mr. Keith did. Um, I kind of think he tried to help a little bit. I'm still very, very frustrated about 
him not being able to provide her name um, whenever uh, he provided all the other employees names and everything and just you know rattled their names off and stuff and then that uh, chief magistrate court judge was a he got, I think just my opinion he's a tool so without further ado and coming to you uh, GT's coming to you in Gordon County in the wonderful city of Calhoun and GT is out